All right, guys, uh, I'm back again with yet another short video because I just about almost finished up the Byakuya showcase. We're just waiting for the Nightmare Ranged Human Guild Quest to drop, so that way I can pretty much finalize the showcase and have it out for you guys to enjoy. But we already got like an update from the dev team from K-Lab about the upcoming new uh, power-up system that is going to be dropping in the game. And it's very interesting, to say the least, because... All right, so this is what we have from here. So they pretty much are recapping the fact that we had the 95 million downloads, the new updates, which by the way, for Brave Battles, not a fan of it. And the rest of the quests, I'm completely fine, just not okay with uh, some of the uh, quests for being able to grind up EXP crystals and jewels. Uh, but you guys get the point, but this is what it's gonna be looking like for how we're gonna be able to power up our characters even further. Notice how it says this, with this feature, using newly added power-up items will allow players to strengthen the stats, skills, and soul traits of characters of a specific attribute. And considering this type of power-up system is taking into account all five attributes separately, the way of how I think this is going to work is that you power it up once for the technique attribute, heart, power, speed, mind, etc, etc, even once, it's going to apply to all of your characters, which is going to be interesting. And considering it even says stats, skills, and soul traits, I'm thinking that what they're going to do here is that this will allow us to permanently increase some skills and make it so that way it's applicable to just about every single character that we have in the game. Now, what I mean by this is for every single tech character, heart, uh, power, speed, let's say you were to get the attack stat to like 200, 300. I'm assuming that's gonna get applied to every character's base stats. So that way when you put on the accessories, you'll get more stats than ever before. And most interesting are also going to be the skills. I'm curious about this because what if we can get like a permanent Berserker buff to every single one of our characters or even a buff to the Bruiser, right? Think of it this way. I'm going to go ahead and boot up BBS real quick just to give you guys an overall good idea. So for context, uh, let's bring a uh, thousand year blower Byakuya. As you guys already know, this guy already has like frenzy plus two, 60% Berserker, etc, etc, etc. I don't need to talk about the character as much. Imagine with this new power up system, forget that it's 95%, it's because of my uh, links and accessories. Imagine with the new power up system, that 60% Berserker will get buffed up to 100% because of the power up system. This is really good because it makes our current existing characters do more damage, but it will also bring life to a lot of the older characters. Like that 40% Berserker buff is not going to apply just to Byakuya, but I could even have it be applied onto like a really old character, like the power thousand year blower Yamamoto. Like his Berserker buff will go from 40% base to 80 percent in that kind of case and with that it's gonna be such a huge deal breaker because with the links i can double it up even further like i can choose to do so like for example if i get the berserker buffed from 40 percent to 120 with the new power-up system it's gonna get up to 160 percent strong attack damage I like this update. It's very interesting. Now, we still have yet to see the contents of everything else, but so far, this is looking to be pretty good, promising. We just need to see how it is. And I don't think it's just going to be Berserker and Bruiser. I feel like it's also going to apply skills such as full stamina damage boost, low stamina damage boost. Uh, it'll be interesting for like some extra skills. Like, I don't think Frenzy is gonna get buffed or flurry let's be a bit realistic about that but we'll have to see about everything else i personally like this update and the fact that you just need to work on an attribute and it'll apply to the rest of the characters it's really good because if you guys look at it this way it's almost the same thing as the affiliation system like hold on let me just pull it up like 
once you get the affiliation characters worked on with the affiliation bonus uh you don't really get a permanent stat increase like i stated but like you just get more sp and attack accounted for your character like as if you have a bit of an accessory applied onto them but it's not gonna apply to your base stat if this new power-up system will apply to the character's base stat this is going to be a really huge update that is going to break the game. Just like Transcendence completely broke the game and changed the meta, made things even easier than before. It'll be very interesting. Trust. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this update in the comment section down below. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this nice little short video. And I hope to see you guys for when the Biakia Showcase goes live. So, have a wonderful day, lads. Bye. Sayonara. Ciao, ciao.